Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and for today's video I am going to be doing the 25 bookish facts about me tag. I figured it would be a pretty good time to do this tag because my 25th birthday is on the 24th of this month so I had been planning to do this tag for a while now but when I realized it was exactly 25 things about me that I had to do and then I was turning 25 I figured now would be the perfect time to do this tag. So without further ado let's get into 25 bookish facts about me. Bookish fact number one, my favorite genres are fantasy and horror. Fact two, I greatly prefer hardcover books to softcover books. I just think they're a whole lot easier to read and I feel like they're also a lot more durable. So as someone who loves collecting books, I like the feel and the look of hardcover books a lot better. Fact number three, I love thrifting for books. I would say about 90 to 95 percent of my collection is books that I have bought secondhand unless it is a book that it comes out like the year that I am buying it I'm buying it secondhand I just think it's such like a fun treasure hunt and you can find like some really cool editions of books that you probably couldn't find if you would just go to like Barnes and Noble or look off of Amazon or something like that fact number four I love deckled edges give me all the deckled edges fact number five this is really hard to pin down but if I had to pick a top three my top three favorite books of all time are The Golden Compass it and the Priory of the Orange Tree. Fact number six, I have four siblings and they mean the absolute world to me, which is probably why some of my favorite tropes and some of my favorite books have to do with really strong sibling bonds or found family tropes where they have a sibling type of relationship. Bookish fact number seven, I have kept a ongoing like series of journals since I was in first grade and I've wanted to be a published writer for my career since I was in about first or second grade as well and I think just being a reader from an early age really helped cement the fact that I also wanted to be a writer. Fact number eight, I did not pick up a single audiobook until two years ago, um, but now I love them. I'd say probably half of the books that I read are audiobook and then half are physical book, and I do remember the very first audiobook I ever listened to that was Final Girls by Riley Sager. Fact number nine, I am really lucky in the sense that my parents really encouraged reading at a young age. They encouraged me to love reading, and and I never really had a phase where people had to encourage me to read. I just have always loved reading from a young age. When I was learning how to read, um, one of my parents was in grad school and money was a little tight for them. So obviously finding cheap sources of entertainment for our family was essential. So we really ended up utilizing like the library and sources like that. And I do think that was also a big part of just encouraging me to be a reader and just an activity that was highly encouraged and just highly prevalent in my childhood years. Bookish fact number 10. I used to have published Harry Potter fan fiction um, and one of my greatest regrets was in high school I deleted it all. So I'd say from probably like sixth grade to ninth grade I wrote and published like on the internet Harry Potter fan fiction and then it's all gone now. So that's kind of regrettable maybe maybe not. I mean, it, was, it wasn't it was great, but it was out there. Bookish fact number 11, I have nothing against ebooks. I do think they consider as real books. I just can't personally like sit through them. I just get distracted. I can't finish them. So I do only listen to books via audiobook or read them physically. I don't know why. It's this weird mental block that I have with ebooks. Fact number 12, I am physically incapable of just picking one book and reading it at a time. I'm always in between like I'd say around three to six books at one time. I wish I could just do one at a time. Fact number 13, I am not afraid to DNF books. Even if I've gotten like 50% of the way through a book and don't like it, I DNF it. Life's just too short to push through and read books that you don't really want to read. Fact number 14, I read every single book that was required of me in school reading because I was a square um, and I know like that not a lot of my classmates did and I I sort of wish that I hadn't have done this because I think it created a lot of stumbling blocks for me and a lot of blocks in terms of resenting classics and unfortunately I didn't really read for fun in high school or early college just because the experience of having books that I didn't like and having to read them really kind of soured me on reading for a little bit. Fact number 15 though, that being said, my 11th grade English teacher was the most influential teacher that I have ever had in terms of schooling and The Great Gatsby is always going to be one of my 
favorite books um, or one of my most influential books because of his influence so I am thankful for that teacher. Fact number 16, when I was a kid I was wild in terms of rereads. I would just pick a book in a series and just read it and not read the rest of the series like for a reread or I would just reread my favorite passages in books or read my favorite series out of order. I don't know what I was doing. I don't do that now. If I start with the first book in the series in a reread, I have to read it through like the right way. But as a kid, I would just pick up and I have like logs of this because again, I keep journals. I would read, I would start by reading like Harry Potter number four and then go to two and then go to one. I, it, I don't know. Fact number 17, I do say that I prefer series to standalones, but I definitely read more standalones than I do series just because it's such a big investment jumping into another series. Fact number 18 about me, I always enjoy character-driven books over plot-driven books. Always. Fact number 19, the only really bookish merch that I collect are Funko Pops. I have them decorated on my shelves, but when I do move into a more permanent area, um, move into a more permanent house, then I would like to start collecting bookish prints and some more artwork to decorate my library with. Fact number 20, I do not annotate my books. I just have too much anxiety about like ruining my favorite books for that, but I do have a compiled list of all of my favorite book quotes and where they are from. Fact number 21, I used to get into a lot of trouble as a kid because when I would read, I would completely tune out everything that was going on around me and uh, parents don't really tend to like that when their kid tunes them out. So back to number 22, I feel so much pressure recommending books to my really close family and close friends because I have anxiety and I just feel so much pressure to pick up out a book that they will absolutely love. I'm just very worried that they won't like the books that I pick out for them. I just, I take it way too seriously. But I do love the fact that like books are my brand for my family and friends and I do like that they come to me. It's just whew, a lot of pressure, <laughs> especially because I do tend to have strange tastes when it comes to books. So sometimes the books that I love, I wouldn't necessarily recommend to other people. Bookish fact number 23, I do not have any tattoos yet, but I do have a lot of them planned, a lot of bookish ones planned, and my first one that I will get will be bookish themed. Fact number 24, I almost missed my sixth grade class picture because I was at the school library checking out a book. I did get to the class picture in the nick of time, but I had to like hide the book in the picture, and if that doesn't describe me as a grade schooler, I don't know what does. And then fact number 25, reading is such a huge part of my life. It's such a huge part of my identity. It always has been for as long as I can remember. I don't know where I would be without it. I definitely wouldn't be here um, without reading and just having this wonderful creative outlet. And I am so very grateful that that was something that as a very young child I picked up as something that I loved and have continued reading for my whole life. Um, yeah, and that's 25 bookish facts about me. If you've done this video, leave a comment down below. I would love to check your video out. That's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a like, hit the subscribe button for more content from me, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!